Hey everybody, Spurgle here, and welcome to my Beginner's Basics Modding Daisy tutorial series, Episode 8, Object Builder Setup. First of all, you're going to want to launch Object Builder. Sometimes it won't open straight away, so launch Atom Builder first, and then your Object Builder. And now, let's open up a random P3D of mine, and have a quick look at my setup. I've arranged my viewport into a way that I like. This can be as simple as checking the windows that you want, dragging them around to where you want them. They will snap into certain locations. Well, just get it how you want, how you want to look. Now, I'm not going to cover all of these tools and functions. A lot of this can be found in um, the O2 manual. Your shortcut keys and things of the sort are all in here. I'll leave this link in the description and on my Discord. So click it have a proper look through here. Another useful link for you will be the uh, the LODs from the BI wiki. Again, this all applies to the LODs that you'll use in Object Builder. Have a proper look through it before you start creating your objects to get a rough idea of what you're doing. This is the LODs window over here. Now, back to the setup. Go to our options have a look at what we've got in here. Start with use oops, that up. Use direct 3D rendering by default turned on. That is this little button up here. You see if I turn it off and try and move around, it's a little bit jittery. Probably a bit hardware intensive intensive. If you turn 3D direct 3D on smooth and buttery. Okay, click to options again. What else do we have? We have show background LOD in UV, show background LOD and background LOD in 3D preview. So what the background LOD is, if we go to say memory or geometry, see this yellow? That is the main resolution LOD put into the background of these other LODs. It's really handy for, say, creating a geometry LOD. You can shape the box you've made to match your main item. I have it turned on in the 3D view because I do most of my work in 3D view, not in the, the 2D viewpoints. It's also quite useful in the UV when you're creating items, you would be able to see the background lot in here. But you can see our UV is already defined. Okay, what else have we got in the options? One thing I like to change is my background color. Makes it easier on my eyes. If you want to use the four viewpoints, you can check that. And it will open up with four viewpoints. I personally don't use that myself. Um, apart from the textures, assign this to your project drive where you're working from. P for most people. Your DLL folder. This is the path to your Daisy Tools bin object builder folder. Last thing in the setup is your external viewer or bulldozer. To get this to work, you're going to want to paste in down the bottom here the path to your DAISY 64XE, followed by these launch parameters. I have a copy paste of this in the description and on my Discord for you. Once that's all done, the viewport's arranged how you like it. That pretty much covers it for this episode. Hope to see you in the next one when I'll begin porting a random item.